so yeah. thank Leader for announcing the business for next week and, and join him and the shadow leader of the House in the tributes to Aberfan. And of course today is a very special day with the by election being in Batley and Spen and of course recalling all these horrific events around the murder of Joe Cox. Um, today, Mr Speaker, we find the Prime Minister off to Brussels for her first trip with EU leaders since she's become Prime Minister and she's advocating something which I think she describes as a smooth Brexit. And can I suggest a debate so we get our terms absolutely right for Brexit? Because we've got, we've got hard Brexit, we've got soft Brexit. I want to suggest crispy Brexit and maybe soggy Brexit. And maybe I can't believe it's not Brexit. And the serious point to this is that we still have not had a debate in government time on its plans to leave the European Union. We had one in the time of the SNP, one in the time of the Labour Party. We heard the Lords Committee yesterday saying that this must be properly debated and scrutinised and even suggesting that we have a debate in advance of the Article 50 being triggered. So can we now, and I'm going to ask him this every week, have solid plans and proposals about when this House gets to debate what this government is intending to do with this? Here, here. Mr Speaker, the, the, the redrawn boundaries for Scottish members of Parliament were, were produced this morning, and it's reducing the number of MPs from Scotland to 59 to 53. Now, we would like to have that reduced to zero when we yeah. regain their independence and sovereignty. But in the meantime, while we're still here, I'd, I'd like the Leader of the House opinion on this, because I, I saw I was in the debate briefly yesterday. How can it possibly be right that in these Houses of Parliament we now have more parliamentarians appointed by a Prime Minister than yeah. elected by the people, yeah. and he yeah. is making that worse? And lastly, Mr Speaker, tomorrow we have the Private Members Bill by my honourable friend, the Member for Eastern Bartonshire, on a very important issue, the Turing's Bill, which obviously seeks to posthumously pardon thousands of gay men who were caught up in all these anti-homosexual legislation. But what we've heard is that the Government are withdrawing support for that yeah. in favour of an amendment in the House of Lords. <laughs> Now, first of all, it should be in here that this is properly considered, mm -hmm. this, and, and here it's properly considered by elected members. And all that does is withdraw, withdraw support and further undermine the credibility of private members' bill. Will yeah. he th rethink that and make sure that yeah. government support that private yeah. members' bill tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah.